What's up guys, let's chat today a little bit about Apple Arcade. So Apple Arcade officially came out yesterday with the release of iOS 13. I got Apple Arcade a few days earlier because I'm on the public beta and so it gave me an opportunity to check out the games, play them, see what's up, and so far I really like them. So right now Apple Arcade is only available on iPhone through iOS 13. It's gonna be releasing September 30th on Apple TV and iPad, which I'm a little bit bummed about because we have an Apple TV and I was planning on playing that right away, but I haven't been able to do that. However, I have been able to play it on the phone, mirroring it to the TV, so it's kind of the same thing, except my phone is doing the brunt of the work instead of the TV. Apple Arcade comes with a month free trial, which is a pretty nice free trial if you ask me. A lot of things are seven days, even Apple TV Plus that's gonna be coming out in November is only a seven day trial. So a month is pretty is pretty strong. So far I played about four or five games and I really like them. I think that Apple Arcade is a really great value at $4.99 depending on what you're looking for. So far we've played Oceanhorn 2, we played Froggy and Toy Town, Lego Brawls, and a few other games here and there, Sonic Racing, stuff like that. And I would say the games are really, really good. Oceanhorn 2 is my favorite by far um, because of the controller support and it really gives like a console like feel, at least for me anyway. However, there's games like Sonic Racing that I'm not too impressed with. It doesn't support controllers and it's really nothing special in my opinion. Hopefully as time goes on, they'll add controller support and make it a little bit better. But as of right now, it's like an okay game. Another game that's really cool is Lego Brawls, except my only issue with this one is it doesn't support controllers which is kind of a bummer. Um, it'd be a lot easier and a lot funner to play if that was the case. One thing that I'm not quite sure about just yet is multiplayer on Apple Arcade. Now, most of the games that I've seen thus far support multiplayer. However, it seems that they support them through a server, you know, kind of the way that Fortnite does. So I'm not sure what things are gonna look like if say me and Declan wanna play the same game together on the TV, I don't know if we can hook up both controllers to the Apple TV or to the phone, computer, iPad, whatever the case may be, or if we have to play on the same server on different devices. I don't know how that's gonna work out just yet. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Apple Arcade. I think the price point is right where it needs to be. I would like to see more controller support. So we'll see what happens in the future. So guys, let me know what you think about Apple Arcade. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you plan on trying it or if you plan on subscribing to the service. And if you have played it, let me know if there's any really cool games that you like um, that you think I should check out.